Hello, I'm Suzanne Blake, Director of Emergency Management, and I'm excited that so many MIT community members are returning to campus. To make sure that our campus community remains safe and healthy, and to make the transition to on-campus work go a bit more smoothly, here are some key tips to keep in mind. Starting in March 2020, MIT implemented protocols to keep everyone on campus during the pandemic safe and healthy. Though many protocols have been rolled back, a few remain in place. Whether you are going back to campus for the first time or you have been on campus regularly during the pandemic, all employees need to follow simple protocols to make navigating campus easier and to protect the MIT community from the COVID-19 virus and its variants. First, all students and employees are required to be fully vaccinated or to have an approved exemption before returning to campus. If you have questions about the vaccine requirement, please visit covidapps.mit.edu slash vaccine. Second, MIT will use the Atlas mobile app to manage testing and campus access. So visit covidpass.mit.edu to download the app and follow the instructions on some additional steps to complete before you can return to campus. Third, all MIT employees accessing campus are required to complete a COVID test through MIT Medical. Please begin the testing on the same day each week if you access campus regularly. Here are the steps for completing your test. You will receive a small sample tube and a plastic swab in a sealed bag. First, unscrew the cap from the collection tube. You can discard the cap. Next, remove the swab from its bag. Make sure not to touch the ridged tip with your hands and do not lay the swab down on any surface. Next, rotate the swab tip in the first nostril three times. Then slide the swab up and down against the inside of your nostril a few times and hold it there for about 10 seconds. Then repeat the process in your other nostril using the same ridged end of the swab. Rotate the swab tip in the other nostril three times, then slide the swab up and down against the inside of your nostril a few times and hold it there for about 10 seconds. Once you have finished swabbing both nostrils, put the swab into the collection tube. Make sure the tip that went into your nose goes into the tube first, then screw the cap closed tightly. If you are testing in person, bring the tube to the drop-off desk. Watch for information about a new self-testing protocol soon. If you don't test for seven days, you will be required to test before being granted access to campus again. Visit covidapps.mit.edu slash medical testing information for details. Lastly, make sure to attest to your well-being using the Atlas mobile app on the days you expect to be on campus. Try to do it before you arrive. Your ability to access campus buildings may be delayed if you have not completed your attestation first. During the pandemic, ID card tap pads were installed on exterior doors to manage building access. That makes your MIT ID your key to campus so please make sure to carry it with you at all times. If you have difficulty getting into spaces you need to access for your work, please contact your DLC's access approvers. The list is available at adminconnect.mit.edu slash people slash access dash approvers. You can also email ISNT's help desk at servicedesk at mit.edu or call 617-253-1101 for assistance 24 hours a day. An important policy update. COVID-related occupancy limits for most on-campus spaces have been lifted, but your DLC may restrict occupancy in certain spaces based on your work. Check with your supervisor about restrictions specific to your DLC. Keep in mind that fire code occupancy limits are still in effect. If you do the following, you should have no problems accessing campus. Download the Atlas mobile app. Test on the same day each week if you come to campus weekly, or as soon as you arrive on campus if you come to campus less often. A test every day you plan on coming to campus, and follow all COVID pass instructions. For more information on campus access, visit now.mit.edu slash policies. MIT draws community members and visitors from all over the world. Ensuring that MIT, the surrounding community, and visitors stay safe remains a top priority. 
With that in mind, everyone, including all vaccinated and unvaccinated persons, is required to wear a face covering indoors for the time being, unless you are alone in a room. Also, please maintain six feet of physical distance between you and other individuals eating around you, or eight feet between your group and other groups. Eat outside whenever possible, otherwise limit the time you are eating inside to 20 minutes. Additionally, in accordance with public health guidance, face coverings are required while riding MIT shuttle buses and in any MIT medical facility, including testing facilities. Communities around MIT may implement their own face covering requirements, so check online before visiting any neighboring communities. Please note that some exceptions apply to the indoor face covering requirement. Visit now.mit.edu slash policies for details. COVID time health safety protocols are still required for unvaccinated community members and visitors. Wear a face covering at all times while on campus, except when you are alone in a room. Maintain six feet of physical distance from all others, even when outside. And when eating or drinking, keep at least six feet of space from all others and eat outside whenever possible. Most campus eateries are expected to be open. Joining familiar eateries in the student center is the launch pad, a group of new concepts from food business incubator Commonwealth Kitchen. For the latest on retail dining, including locations and hours, visit studentlife.mit.edu slash dining. Conditions are evolving constantly and COVID policies can change quickly. MIT will also continue to adjust campus guidelines whenever possible. If you have questions, please consult these websites. They're also listed in the comments section of this video. On behalf of MIT, thank you for watching. It will be great to have you back on campus.